Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 11 of Civilization 6. I say I'm still going for my uh, first uh, deity victory, but it just isn't going to happen. This is most likely going to be the last video of this series. Scotland has already um, started the final stage of the science victory. Um, and he's traveling at three light years per turn. You need to get to 50 light years, so at best I've got like 15 turns, and I haven't even researched smart materials yet, and that's going to take four turns. So, yeah, I think I've well and truly lost this one. I will see it through to the end, though. No reason not to. Uh, this place is in a bit of a bad state. There's not much it can really do, so let's just go and get that flood barrier on the go. Most of these things are flooded out anyway, so it's not going to make a huge deal of difference. But yeah, the game's going to be over long before that happens. Ah, oh, meteor shower. At least it didn't actually hit my uh, my farm there. But okay, cool. There's a meteor shower. The children of the nuclear um, age, I think, were weakened in their capacity to love. Hard nothing to love. there's really going to help us. Although, is there anything that we could do that would increase our sort of space race probably not can't really get any additional science maybe we can get additional money i suppose but not like we really need that um unit is available for promotion which is a spy uh most of these not all that useful Success in disrupting rocketry. Well, I mean, that is nice. Uh, these alliances are not too important right now, I don't think, anyway. Uh, let's go and uh, do this again. Again, it doesn't really make a huge deal of difference. We're at that point in the game where it's kind of close to being all over that up so we've got to choose our escape route what is our only option we failed again and terribly at actually recovering spies here i'm not sure how much that was uh that spy helped as if it set him back we can check that actually at the next um yeah grievances are fine we'll wait until it's our turn again and we'll have a quick look uh, at the right menu here uh four light years per turn yeah so he, he it didn't really slow him down all that much. Uh, what can we do here? Two turns for smart materials, and this will be where we want to do the next part. So we probably don't want to start on anything that's going to take too long. Uh, let's go ahead and get an archaeological museum, because we can. Uh, pretty much anything that you can build at this point is useless. Let's just get you building a spy for now. And we have a spy here. Now, what were you doing? Or are you a new spy? I think you're a new spy. Uh, where do we have spies already in Scotland? We've got one in Fours. We don't have one in Cullen because we just lost them. Uh, let's get one into Aberdeen. Actually, it's Aberdeen. Aberdeen doesn't have a spaceport. Fours does. Cullen does. Um... Probably Montrose then. Let's go there and see what we can do, if anything. Um, you are going to... 50% oh, chance to disrupt rocketry is really low, but we don't have time to build... Uh, to gain sources. We've just got to go for it and hope we can slow him down. I don't think it's going to be enough. I definitely... Um, I definitely made some mistakes early on in this campaign. Uh, things that I really should have uh, paid more attention to. Uh, you want me to join a war? I'm not going to bother getting involved into anything like this at, at this late stage of the game. I just don't think there's anything that I can do here. Apologies if you can hear any drilling sounds in the background. A neighbour has took it upon himself to start. I don't know what he's doing. He's been drilling constantly for what seems like days. And it's very annoying. Um, so, that's not... Smart materials is still not done yet. Took a, a turn longer than expected. Is there anything we should work on at all? There's nothing here that we can do in a single turn, really. I guess we could get a builder. There is already a builder in there, but you can never have too many builders. Uh, let's get a hanger for whatever use that is. 
you still at four light years per turn, but he's about halfway through. So only about seven, six turns away. Um, he, well, even five, yeah, five turns away if he's at four now. But about halfway. I think he was a little heaven. bit less than halfway. Uh, so now we've got to choose a new research. Um, before we do that, let's just have a quick look if we go to Lisbon now. So what we'd have to do here is work on... Uh, the options down here, isn't it? Or is it? Launch Exoplanet Expedition. Yes, yeah, so even that's going to take us 10 turns. So there's just nothing we can really do to speed that up. We could go ahead and potentially chop that jungle down, but I bet it's not going to help too much. Um, once we've done that, we have to research... Oh, no, we don't have to research anything after this one. He's at six light years per turn now. Yeah, he's basically... He's done at this point. Doesn't really matter what I work on there. Um, I mean, the only thing we could really do is, is slow him down with spies. But I don't think, even if all of our spies managed to disrupt his rocketry now, I don't think we'd be able to disrupt him enough to really stop him from, from getting the win. He's just, he's just too quick at the moment. So there's a boost to telecommunications. Yeah, let's repair that barracks. We've got a tank over here. I don't know where I got that from. Was it something I was building? Um, let's. We've got one at Montrose. The one at Cullen got sent out. So let's get you back in. 25% chance to disrupt rocketry. But I mean, even that's going to take eight turns, which is probably too late. Almost certainly too late. So I got close though. I still I still feel that I got closer than well obviously I didn't get closer than my previous attempt, but I got closer than I thought I was going to get. Your heritage. This is it's all there. useless. That flood was annoying as well. Um Yeah, most of this is all just moot now. Seven light years per turn. Yep. Yeah, couple of turns this is all over. And that's if it's not over on this turn. Which it might well be. Um Let's just build the Sydney Opera House randomly. I'm just seeing this through to the end now because there's there's no there's no catching up to be done here. Um, you could remove that. I mean, that knocks a turn off of the production, but it's still not going to be enough. If Scotland don't win at the end of this turn, it'll be at the end of the next one. Uh, just end with that. So yes, this will be a... Um, this is always the problem with the last video on Civilization. It always ends up being either a really long one or a really short one. And I think this is going to be one of those really short ones. Not going to bother with the alliances at this point. Again, not really worth it. It's still going to be eight turns before I can even launch the Exoplanetary Expedition. Uh, Robert is on eight light years per turn and he must be... He must be at least at 40 by now, uh, if not more. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and build a mine there. And this is probably where it ends. Jag har nyligen fått ett helt nytt konstverk och jag ska vara värd snart för en konstvisning. Era sändebud är att in... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this is where I'm expecting it to end. Yep, there we go. So it was a defeat. Um, so... It wasn't a single turn off. Um, obviously, my last game was definitely a single turn away from defeat. Well, a single turn away from victory, I should say. Um, on this one, it would have taken me, what, another seven or eight turns, another seven turns to launch the, the Exoplanetary Expedition. And then it would have probably taken me about a further ten turns to, to get up to the, the 50 light years travelled, which means I was about 15 turns behind. Which is still not terrible. I'm definitely going to try this again. Um, not necessarily with Portugal. Because I'm quite aware that I've done that twice now. I might try somebody else. Obviously science was my big problem. It always is. So if we actually have a look at player science. Yeah. Scotland was always well ahead of the curve on science. Let's just take everybody else off. For the time being. So yeah. There was only one point. For a very slight point in the game. Where I was ahead of, of Scotland. 
And this is the big problem. If I'd have been able to keep up with Scotland's curve there, I'd have been able to, to be beaten him quite easily, I think. I mean, the amount of research that he was putting out was absolutely ridiculous. If we can go ahead and have a look at... Um, is the one here for actually technologies research? I, th I feel that they used to be. Oh, no, there isn't. I was wondering if there was one that showed you how many technologies have been researched. Because he was, he was still about 10, 11, 12 techs ahead of me at that time. If I compare myself to the others, I mean, I did overtake Sweden in terms of tech. Um, you see, everybody else kind of, their tech kind of plateaued. You did catch up with me a little bit towards the end. I was, yeah, so with the exception of um, Amanatore, the rest of them I pretty much stayed quite ahead of. Uh, and then obviously Scotland just really ran away with the show there. So, yes, uh, again, I think if I'd have had a slightly better start or if I'd have made some slightly better decisions early on or if I'd have settled a couple of extra cities, it may have been enough. So I will be trying again in the future and hopefully get that first deity win. Uh, I'll be taking a little bit of break, little bit of a break from civilization in the meantime because we have... Um, Oh, words are just fleeing from my brain today. Uh, we have Humankind uh, to have a look at. So that, if you're not uh, familiar with Humankind, it's by uh, Amplitude Studios. It's the same guys that made Endless Space and Endless Legend. It's a sort of 4X. They sell it as a grand strategy, but I think it's closer to a 4X. It is more like Civilization than something, say, like Stellaris or... Um, uh, Europa Universalis or something like that. I'd say it's a lot closer to a 4X game. It, it looks, um, on the surface, very similar to Endless Legend, which, of course, you know, is totally not surprising because it is the same developer. But uh, it's um, it's probably the biggest possible contender out there for Civ at the moment, so I really want to give that a go uh, and see how it feels. See if it's something a little bit fresh, a little bit different. Uh, so we will be having a look at Humankind on the channel. But thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this series of Civilization VI. My apologies once again for not being able to bring you that deity victory. Trust me, I'm beating myself up about that just as much. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.